Right, welcome back. Firstly, sorry about the noise uh, in the background, uh, out of my control. Um, and then secondly, I've decided to paint the trailer at home uh, and do the bodywork necessary. And you know when you take on a project and you think to yourself, it's gonna be a lot easier than it is. Well, this is the case. I'm currently using these sanding uh, pads that fit to a grinder. Uh, which remove paint and rust, uh, which I bought from Amazon. Uh, and they do a really good job. I can't complain about that at all. However, it's a task and a half to get all the layers of paint off. So, um, as you can see here, I completely stripped the back of the trailer. And that's the first coat of um, etch primer courtesy of how frauds uh, in the UK uh, and I've done that and I've done this quarter uh, and I was testing uh, to see if I can leave some of the paint on so all I'm addressing and it works by the way so all I'm addressing are the rust spots and then sanding it all smooth uh, and putting a key on it to accept uh, the paint and then I'll put probably three layers of this primer down and then let that dry before I come back and start putting uh, the green on. Uh, the underneath of the trailer I will be doing at some other point but I wanted to get uh, the sides done at the very least and the bed so I can take it to a show next week um, I'll worry about all of this interior at some point in the future um, it's all surface rust so it's not a problem the most important thing was getting the bed treated uh, and solid I can take it to the show and then once I've taken it to the show, I can bring it back. And then I can work on the inside and the underneath. So keep watching. So as you can see here, most of the paint's been removed, uh, sanded down, wiped down, and degreased. Ready for the paint to be applied. So that's it done. That's three coats of etch primer put on to the whole of the outside on the sides. Uh, the wheel arches, they've been painted separately. And then when they're put on, uh, I will go on the inside or remove the wheel, go on the inside and spray some chip resistant paint uh, in there and on the sides. Um, but as you can see, do you know what? It's not bad for spray cans and a bit of elbow grease in regards to grinding the extra material off. And like I said, the inside is a job for another day, as well as the um, underneath uh, of the trailer. Uh, it will all get done by the end of this year, but I wanted to get the trailer into a position where I can start using it at events. So, there you go. Now I'm gonna let that dry for a couple of days and then scuff it up in preparation for the top coat. So, um, three coats of etch primer, gray followed by one coat of red primer. Um, that's what I've gone for. Uh, so that's four coats of primer in total. The mud guards, wheel arches, whatever you want to call them, they're going to have their red coat of primer put on in a bit. But as you can see, I've just fitted the new uh, bolt hardware. Um, and also, 
I've applied a coating of um, chip resistant paint that you can also paint over. Um, and I'm going to remove this wheel and then do the same coat in on, on the side here. Um, and then I'll paint it uh, the correct shade of green. So it's done both sides. Uh, the only other thing that I've done is you can see there's like little gaps where it's just spot welded. There was a significant gap there. So that's been cleaned out, rust treated, and then a, um, a filler put over it and then a base coat of primer. Um, and then it will have the red primer put over the top. So wheels are off both sides. And the first coat uh, of the chip resistant paint is on. Now, like I said before, you can put whatever top coat over uh, the top of this black. So once this is dried, it takes two hours between coats. So I'm going to put two coats on. Uh, I'm then going to uh, put the red primer over the top and then the top coat, the green. So that's it. That's the primer, red primer put over everything. Um, wheels came off and the black paint, chip resistant paint has been applied. That's gonna dry. I'll put the wheels back on because I'm putting it back in the garage. So I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. And then hopefully tomorrow uh, I can rub it down and uh, then uh, put the green paint on and then hopefully it'll be ready for the show. If you've enjoyed the content please like, share, subscribe and comment and I'll see you later.